Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about a very important thing, the Victorian election coming up. This is our opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to get rid of Daniel Andrews. So we've got to think carefully, and that's what I'm here to do, advise you about how to vote this weekend, the Victorian election. Stick around and listen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the Victorian election coming up, and I've got to give you the number one fact. You're going to have to vote for Matthew Guy if you want to get rid of Daniel Andrews. I know they're like 10 billion freedom parties, and, you know, I respect some of them, and I think up in the upper house, that's the place to vote for these parties, you know what I mean? But, like, you have to vote for Matthew Guy in the lower house if you want to get rid of Dan Andrews. Any other vote for any freedom party in the lower house is basically like giving your vote to Dan Andrews, okay? Or the Greens, which is even worse, you know what I mean? Of course, you know, I mean, there could be some kind of, like, um, hung parliament where there's a kind of Greens, Dan Andrews situation. That could be even worse than having Dan Andrews, you know, having a full majority. So we have to be very, very carefully. If you are a Freedom Party person, if you're a Liberal voter, obviously you'd vote for Matthew Guy anyway, but you have to support Matthew Guy. He may not be the greatest um, star in the political sky, but he isn't Dan Andrews. He's not as bad as Dan Andrews. He never could be. If the guy lived to be a thousand years old, he could never be as bad as Daniel Andrews. So I actually kind of enjoyed uh, listening to a bit of what Matthew Guy's had to say. Um, obviously, I think the place to, uh, uh, to register your protest vote is in the upper house. Um, that's where you can vote for, you know, your freedom candidates. You know, you've got, I think, the two strongest uh, contenders who might actually get some seats in the upper house are um, obviously uh, um, One Nation uh, and United Australia Party because they both got, at the federal election, they both did well. And also there was a rebel, um, uh, you know, UAP candidate from Victoria got in. So, um, you know, place your, your, your votes uh, here for those parties. And also there's a couple other people I'd like to mention who, um, you know, obviously uh, from being in the freedom movement from doing Cafe Lockdown, I've got to meet many fascinating people. Damien uh, Richardson is, is one. Damo, um, you know, he's working with Morgan Jonas's Freedom Party. He's fantastic. So uh, you know, he's someone is great to support, uh, give you him your vote. And also Catherine Cummings, who's somebody who I've met many times. Um, you know, she's absolutely fantastic as well. So yeah, that's my advice. But, you know, I really think you have to think strategically. And, you know, I mean, because sometimes a protest vote will only help Daniel Andrews. So you have to be very careful. I mean, and there is a strong possibility Daniel Andrews is going to get re-elected. But there does seem to be a popular movement against him. And also another interesting thing is if you happen, if you're lucky enough to be in the seat of Mulgrave, you have the opportunity to kind of cut Daniel Andrews off at the knees. So in there you can vote, obviously you can vote Liberal, you can vote for this other guy, Cook, who was involved with the kind of sluggate um, kind of situation. So you could vote Daniel Andrews out there so that even if Labor did get in, for example, even if they did win, Daniel Andrews won't be returned, which of course would be a good result um you know anybody but daniel andrews because if we have another four years of that guy i mean you know i'm gonna <laughs> i don't want to move to canada like all the people uh, um we're gonna do if trump won but like it's a very very bad situation i think and um i think it will only kind of uh, encourage the kind of dictatorial totalitarian direction that andrews has gone in the last four years and there is a fantastic think piece by jeff kennett who i thought was a great um a victorian premier a last great victorian premier about the danger of dan andrews and that this weekend is our opportunity to get rid of him so let's take it ladies and gentlemen support matthew guy and in the upper house you know that's the place to place your um register your protest vote and support your freedom candidate whether it be one nation united australia party or, or damo damien richardson so there it is ladies and gentlemen they're my thoughts on the election and take it or leave it